Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. Now, there was an article out in the newspaper, and the title for that article said, Man S-H-O-T and K-I-L-L-E-D in a some sorts of S-H-O-O-T out with the popo in a bog walk. Bog walk is in St. Catherine. Now, people, here's my disclaimer before I proceed. This video cannot validate the source. Cannot say if it was edited, doctored or whatever to show an advantage for the victim or for the popo. However, based on what I saw in this video, we saw that there were a couple of popo. The audio was not so clear, but we could see the video. This individual was in a some sorts of white t-shirt, white pullover. Then there were at least three to four, could be more out of the vision of the camera or the CCTV. We saw that them confront the man. There was some sorts of conversation being held. The man clearly had his hand behind his neck based on what I am seeing. It seems as if he was told to get on his knee. You could hear one can go off and then we saw the popo them left and then the popo came back. Don't know if them left and go for some sorts at all and put upon the man. People me can validate or verify it happened before and it could happen this case. No sorts of proof or evidence to say that it did. However, what I saw based on this clipping that I saw is that I did not hear any sorts of pie pie sound. Me ear dog a bark, me hear like me ear, one kind of can went off. If there's a S-H-O-O-T out, that means a confrontation, some sorts of buckle. That means that one person a blaze up the way there, the next person a can up the next direction. That is what a S-H-O-O-T out sounds like in my interpretation. And if you follow news in Jamaica, we've seen or heard many, many of them. The problem that I have with this is that the popo was talking to the man. The popo said something, don't know what was said, like I said, the audio was not clear. Then we saw the man go down to his knee. Then we never see that man come back up. Now people, me no know if when he went to pan him knee, him try for wheel and pop off something, unless he was on some sorts of S-U-I-C-I-D-A-L mission. No average person is going to do that. When you get catch, you know, say you get catch and there's no sorts of way out. You are going to act as if you are innocent. You're going to confess. You're going to do everything to try. Save your life. Could it have happened that him try for wheel and pop off? Yes. Some people have on some sorts of mission and them know say I do or D-I-E. So therefore, desperate times call for desperate measure. But just as I say, the average person is not going to do that. Now when the popo had this man and was talking to him, 
they had an option for use some sorts of handcuff. I am assuming that all popo must have some sorts of handcuff, seeing that you are working in a volatile community, serious community. So I say this to say that they should have held him, make sure so them handcuff him, make sure that the scene was safe for the popo and said suspect. This would have avoided him trying to wheel and pop off, not saying that he did, not saying that he didn't. So my point is that this could have easily been prevented. Them said prevention better than cure. And the way that this worked out, it was not any sorts of cure. It was K-I-L-L-I-N-G, whether it was justified or unjustified. That is for the relevant authority, meaning in the com to verify or validate or give some sorts of investigation. Now, people, like I have made it clearly before, me don't know what type of individual this was, don't know the circumstances that led to this, whether him do something to the popo, whether him, him fire some sorts of can after the popo. And even if he did, the fact that them run him down and them catch him, they should have handcuffed him and brought him in. However, sometimes that DEAT8 certificate is signed the unorthodox way. That means that them get some sorts of intelligence that this man, that person is out on the street creating all sorts of problems and menace to society. So therefore, whenever you see him, it is DEATH on side. Could that have been the case, people truth be told? Speaking in a justified way, it is not supposed to happen. However, under the circumstance of Jamaica, we're kind of desperate. Whenever we can get that win, we should take that win. Even if it is not the, the orthodox way by protocols or procedure. Because these youths are getting out of hand. Is that the case in this case for these youth people? Me not really know, me can't really say. But me just as say, speaking in general, if you ask most Jamaican, based on the dilemma that we are caught between a rock and a hard place, whenever we hear say the popo get rid of somebody, if them can validate and verify that this person is indeed bad, it does not matter how we get to it. All we are interested in is the end product and people. It is a sad way to think of our little nation. Now, people, here is the thing. If this case goes to court, whether it is justified or not, the person that took this video will have to go into courts and give some sorts of sworn statement as to the circumstance to prove that it was not doctored, it was not edited, it was not photoshopped. Do you think any individual in a Jamaica is going to take the risk and go against the system? Especially... When this popo in this video was seen taking out a man that seems to be questionable or controversial, people may just say it may not happen. This case may not go to court. No witness will show up. These people are afraid of the popo like they are afraid to be any sorts of key witness to any sorts of gunman are done. Sad situation in Jamaica. Hopefully, Indicom can get to the bottom of this. Hopefully, the family of this person, if he is indeed innocent and a good little boy, we don't want to see any sorts of innocent people get violated. So, hopefully, the family will get some sorts of justice. However, if at the other way, anima some sorts of menace to society, it is happy redance. A win is a win is a win, even though it might not be following protocols and procedures. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is becoming more and more apparent that politicians, gunmen, extortionists, they work hand in hand. They have worked hand in hand. However, they are now trying to stop the problem. There was a groundbreaking for some sorts of poor poor station. That, were, that, that is to be built in the Westmoreland area, cost $2.7 billion. 
At that groundbreaking ceremony was your security minister, Dr. Horace Chang, the MP, politician, all of the relevant authority involved. In a speech that was given by your security minister, Dr. Horace Chang, he said that he became aware of the impact that extortion have on business projects in Jamaica. He said that it is as much as one third, meaning one out of three, meaning 33 percent. That whenever any sorts of contract is given in a, any sorts of volatile era, whether a Jamaica flank, sorry, whether a Kingston, Flankers, Canterbury, any sorts of place, at least one third of that money goes in as miscellaneous expense, what they call quiet money for kind of calm down the people them, make the people them happy, make the people them eat food. Now people, do you really think that security or justice minister should come out and say something like that, even though you and I know that it is factual? What that fact tells us is that they have come to an agreement. It is a part or was a part of the protocol that, listen, whenever any sorts of contract a out in any sorts of volatile garrison community, they done in people, they shatter them in the era of eat food or the contract cannot start. That is basically what he is telling us. So now he is saying that, listen, Things change and these extortion protocols, procedures will not be followed. It is not business as usual. So therefore, they are sending out a warning to the people, possible extortionists, that listen, you know, and get none of the money, the government purse, the people's purse. So people, you think that you should have to tell people that listen, there is going to be no sorts of illegal activity. Remember, we are not speaking about a community center in a some sorts of garrison that is being built. We are speaking about a poor poor station, law enforcement. Then if law enforcement have to make sure so them put out some sorts of disclaimer, what would happen to the average man, average business, average project that is out there? People, what this tells you, that the corruption in a Jamaica is bigger than we even thought. It is normalized. Now they are trying to do some sorts of switcheroo when they realize that people eyes are watched. However, they cannot get from the fact that they are also intertwined with these corrupted officials versus the criminals or with the criminals. People, it is a very sad state of affair in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.